Okay, we thank Hashem that we're able to learn every day. It's about learning. We should have the basic English immediately. Start 107B. Four Shlema. Four David Gershon Ben Chaya. Four Shlema. Okay, so we're going to start on the first wide line. It says, Beshama Yem and the Fun of. We're talking about Mian. That means a girl rejects, a young girl is uh, can walk out of a marriage by just rejecting her husband. However, Bishami says it can only be in front of the husband. Bishami had some interesting views here, that it needs to be only from the Arison. It has to be in front of the husband. It has to be in front of a Bestin. And she can only do it once. And they still allowed all of those. That it could be more than once. It doesn't need to be in front of a Bestin. It doesn't need to be in front of the husband. And it could be even be from the Nisua. Tanya. Start in a brisa. I'm going to be still a bishamay. They still are discussing this with bishamay. They said, "We have a fellow. His name is Pishin. He was a camel driver, and his wife walked out on him, and she rejected him, and it wasn't in front of him. How does that work? According to you, bishamay, she has to do the mian in front of him." responds, he dealt unfairly with her. And so therefore, the sages dealt unfairly to him. In other words, they switched the rule a little bit. What, the, what was really only Bidiyeved, they made it uh, The term Kfusha, Rashi says is inverted. It's an inverted vessel. It's an upside down vessel. Now, I guess what it would mean was that someone had a, a vessel that would be used to, to measure, it says on it like kav or something, and he used the wrong side of it. So, or maybe he used only the bottom of it or the wrong side of it, maybe. So whatever it is, he did something unfair. So, so that's why he's being um, treated like this, that they allowed a Miyun not in front of him. What did he do wrong? Apparently he was eating all the fruits that she had brought into the marriage. Now, this creates a problem. I, we understand what he's doing wrong. He's eating all the fruits. But um, how is he eating the fruits? He's not married to her. He's only betrothed to her. According to Beishamai, the only way that you can do Miyun is from the betrothal, not from the marriage. And the eating of the fruits is only after the marriage. So this is, uh, how does it, how's, what's going on over here? The Gemara says, Pshita Nesuihi. Obviously, he married her if he's already eating the fruits. A, a full marriage doesn't do Mian. The Gemara says, Chekichi of the Bay. They actually allowed Mian by the Nesua. And they also allowed Mian not in front of him because of the way this fellow was behaving. It doesn't tell us exactly what he was doing wrong, but, it, but he was mistreating the, the property that she brought in. Okay. Trey Kitchen means a knot. They tied him into two knots. They, they, they double knotted him to, to, because of the way he was behaving. It's a funny expression because it's really like allowing her out in two, two ways Two lenient ways that she's allowed to walk out of the marriage from the Nasuan and from and not in front of him. And that's the Gemara is calling that they tied him into two into two knots. Use that same expression by and Tanya when someone has uh, cuts one of the strings and you know from the calf. So you have to double knot it. Right. So since he would break the law, they uh -huh. went back to him and double knotted him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, that's how I hear. Yeah, okay. Bishami and Bethany Bezdin Kula Bishami says that it needs to be in front of a Bezdin, right? The Mian. And on Hassam, it was stored over there. Where's there? In Sanhedrin. Says Hachalitza Vamunin Bishleisha. Chalitza is when the brother in law uh, doesn't want to marry the widow. And Miyun 
is when a young girl walks out of a marriage, any marriage, she walks out of that. Um, means when she was married by her brother, brothers and, and mother, not by the father. It has to be done in front of three people. Mantana, who's the one that holds this? In our Mishnah, who would that be? Well, Amaraba Beishamayi. Rabba says it's Beishamayi. Beishamayi says that it needs to be in front of a Bezdin. That's what it means. Three people means the Bezdin. Fits perfectly with Beishamayi. Abaya Amara Filotema Beishel. Abaya says no. That Mishnah doesn't have to be the opinion of Beishamayi. That Mishnah that says you need three people could be Beishel's opinion. Adkan Lekamra Beishel. Until here, Beishel did not say that it doesn't need to be, be a Bezdin. El Adlaibin and Mumchen. That it doesn't need to be um, experts, judges. Maybe a little bit ahead. We're, um, we're right before that mission. Yeah, somewhere over there. Leibin and Mumchen, probably towards the top of that page. That they don't need to be experts. Avil Shleisha, but three people. But you know that you still need. Because Beis Hill still holds that you need to have uh, three people, they just held it doesn't need to be a best. So the Mishnah in Sanhedrin that says you need three people could fit with Basilo, that you need, do need three people. Kedetani was taught in a Bryce, Bishami and Bifne Besden, Bissalam Bifne Besden, Shlai Bifne Besden, Bela Vela Maidim, Shetzarach Shleisha. See, you have a clear Bryce. Basil holds you need three people. Bishami says they need to be judges, Basil says they don't need to be judges. Rabbi Yisi Bar Yehuda and Rabbi Lozer and Rabbi Shimon Machshirim B'Shnayim. Rabbi Yisi Bar Yehuda, and it's Rabbi Lozer. I think before we had it, Rabbi Lozer and Rabbi Yisi Machshirim B'Shnayim. Allow there to be only two people there. Maybe this has to do with Ein Davar Shaber V'Pachas B'Shnayim. That uh, you know, in a wedding. That's why kill all. Hill holds that you need to have three people. They say you only need two people. They're not Dayanim, though. Right. Right. So in, in, right. 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 And that, that aspect, yeah. But what, what it may mean is, you know, like by the Kedushin, the witnesses there are, are not testifying to the, to the marriage. The witnesses are edas lakiyuma. They're they're part of the marriage. They make the they make the marriage. The witnesses maybe what it means shnayim maybe means testify. I don't know. Maybe it means testifying, but if it sounds like that 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 there needs to be two, it sounds like that they need to be there as part of the the uh, I don't know. That's for a different uh, style of learning. <laughs> it's not clear that it's. Not Right. Okay. Rabbi says name of is like that pair that you only need two people. I have a problem with this Gemara. Huge problem. Because on Kufbe is Kufhe rather, he said. Amar of Yesip Arminumi, Amar of Nachman, Ain Halacha Kaisazuk. There must be a, another version. Do you have a star in your Gemara that says Ain Halacha? It's almost like a contradiction from like four pages, three pages ago. I don't, I don't have an answer. Unless I'm going to edit one of them. I looked in the Rashash. <laughs> I looked in the Rashash because he would be someone that would, you know, takes the liberty to, to edit things that he feels. Uh, and there was nothing there. So I, I don't know. Must be making, I must be making a mistake. Bishamay says, um, Bishamay says that you should, she can only do me in once. What happens? It goes like this. Bishami says that Jewish girls are not free for all. She rejects her husband. She waits until she matures. And then she rejects her husband and she gets married. Okay, first day. 
speakers. Now it sounds like the first guy, but why is she rejecting him twice? Umar says, Why is she doing it twice? She already rejected him before she walked out, before she matured. Well, Amr Shmuel, I should talk to the time rights and be in her shining. She has to make a statement again that what she said when she was a child, she still holds by that. Similar to a, uh, a conversion that's done on someone that was done, that was a child, that the Bezdin did the conversion. When they reach maturity, they have to make sh- we have to make sure that they don't reject it. So it's over here, when they reach maturity, she has to, we have to make sure that she doesn't reject that me, and that would be according to Shmuel. What's the process? By the conversion? By the second. By the second, by, well. But the affirmation. Yeah. Um, practically what's done is they ask him uh, if he's happy in school, if he likes his family, and, you know, and that and he usually says yes, and it's fine. They don't actually say, would you rather have a cheeseburger or, um, or eat a uh, kosher? <laughs> no, no, no. We're talking about by a conversion. If there's a conversion on a child, when the boy reaches bar mitzvah, he's supposed to affirm that he, that he agrees to, he still holds by that conversion that they did on him when he was younger. So how do they go about, how do they go about it? So they don't make a whole scene, like put in front of him the, everything that's trafe and the, the, they don't do that. They just, they say, are you happy in school? You, you know, everything's going okay? You have, you know, as long as he doesn't say, uh, oh, I can't stand it. So then that's considered that he accepted it. The girls are doing it at Bus Mitzvah. Yeah, at the bus, yeah. yeah. They, they don't make an official event out of it, but he has to know at least that he did a conversion. Sometimes parents keep it, Keep it a secret. Oh, that would be problematic. Because yeah, then he, little baby, right? Right. The water and right. The and then when he finds out when he's eighteen, and then then he would have the right then to do it. That becomes a problem. It's recommended that the child know that there was a conversion yeah, at thirteen. Adoptive parents who have anger who have kept secrets. And it becomes a problem Whoa, later. Major problem. Yeah. Sometimes they walk out on their parents to get so angry. Right. Okay, next chat. That was the first chat. That was Shmuel's chat. It has nothing to do with conversion. I was just saying that when she reaches of age, they ask her if she um, she refuses. So are you still happy being single? <laughs> okay. And then it says marry. Is that married the same guy or just marry somebody new? According to Beishamai, she's not married. Right. She only married, uh, oh, right? She was going to Beishamai. She well, actually, there's a possibility. Just wait one minute. According to the first chat, she's not married. Uh, Ula Amar Tati Ktani. Ula says there's actually two things going on here. One is Oisha Timoin Vitagdil Vitiaris. Why does it say Vitimoin again? That she does a refusal of the a rejection of the husband. So there's really two options. The first one was talking about she refuses her husband and then she grows up. And then she can get a, a new marriage. She marries someone else. Right. Now, we, that's a betrothal. Because we don't want her just to walk out of marriages five times. We don't want her to do that. So while mm-hmm. she's a child, she would be able to. So we don't let her get married again. We don't let her get betrothed again. Or, according to Ula, there's another shot, according to Beishamai. Or, if she does reject it, which that's the second time it says Vitimoin, she rejects it, which is really the first time that she's rejecting. It's just another option here, a full option. Then she gets a full marriage. Now, a full marriage she can't walk out of. So we have no problem her. We have no problem with her getting married again, as long as she can't walk out of her second marriage. So if she only gets betrothed, then she'd be able to walk out of it. But if she is willing to get married, according to Bishamai, which she can't walk out of, then that would be acceptable. So she has only one free pass. Yeah, one free pass. That's right. One joker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Umar says, Bishlam Ma'ula, what's the problem? You, know, you, know, you don't like this? I'm just thinking, you know, the whole reason that she's in this, in this relationship to begin with is because her mother or brothers thought they didn't have enough food to support her. Right. So now she's got to make all these decisions. She's like 10, 9 year old. Right. And she can't get 
Mary Pitt, how she hosts this for herself if she can't get engaged again. Right. Well, that she was supposed to think about that before she walked out of this on this guy. I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you, the, the little girls are so capable. I mean, if they have responsibilities, usually they, nowadays they don't have much responsibility, but if they had responsibilities, they're very, very capable, even at a young age. They're babysitting and serving tea and, you know what I'm saying? They're only seven years old. You know, the, they can handle the whole uh, thing. Big decisions. Okay. Bishlai Mala'ula, Hainu Diktani Ache Tagdil. Supposed to be 18, I'll say probably. According to Ula, we understand what it says that we wait until she grows up or she gets married, right? Ella Lashmuel Ache Tagdil Vitaimar Mi Baile. It shouldn't be she gets married. And she says that she can, that she may, still is, maintains that earlier rejection of the husband. It's, mis- it's not saying the right phrase. It says Kasha. It's a question. According to Shmuel, the wording isn't perfect. Should have said Vitimar, not Vitimine. So where's the Chasura Kamatsura? They just missed it in the text. It just leaves it as a question. It doesn't even answer. Okay, we have a Mishnah. New Mishnah. Mishnah says, "Is we katan shetrichle mine." What's a, what would be a child that needs to do Mion if she wants to get out of her marriage? Mion is to, to annul, to just reject the husband and annul the, the original marriage. Talking about that her mother, her brother married her with her consent. Let's say they married her off without her consent. She doesn't even need Mion. It's nothing. As a minor, whatever it is, yeah. Apparently, there's a type of consent even for a minor. Right. Right. Well, the fact that she could reject the husband means that there is some sort of consent. She didn't reject until now, and now she is rejecting. I mean, we're, we are dealing with what she wants. You take that into consideration. Together with other, other das, there is a type of consent. You just need other people there. She can't do a, a Kenyan all on her own. She can't be Makna. She can't do a Kenyan. But when other people are giving her things that she can acquire. Oh, well, that's what you know. it's in the next step. And we're not capable of safeguarding like the ring. Okay. I need to refuse. That's the next uh, statement. If she's that young that she can't even keep her, her Kedushin money, right, the ring, so then this, that's got to be very young. Um, so then that's not, uh, she doesn't require me and there's no marriage at all. Rabbi Elazar. It's like the kid that says, when the, can I have some money? And the parent says, I have no money. He says, can't you just write a check? Right. It's the concept of that. We have two, two stories. Yeah. We're looking for a house. Years ago, we were looking for a house. Anyway, the kids were saying, I want that one, I want that one. So um, they're in the car seats, with that, you know, like that young. So uh, my wife says, do you want a, a, a lollipop or a house? They said, a lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you hear like what age that was another thing we had. My daughter wanted a certain... Uh, style house so she sees a house anyway there was a number on on, on the, the call so she takes my wife's phone and she dials how old was she uh, it's like probably 10 or something or, uh, anyway she says uh hello are you selling uh, the house and how much is it so they said 500 so she says dollars 
<laughs> and, then, and then the phone went blank. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. Talking about like their business transactions here. Yeah. So that's for the holding. It's not Rebelos, it's Rabbi Eliezer. Eliezer, it's Rebelezer, that's Rebelezer ben Horkinus. That's the teacher of Rabbi Akiva. So in my sektana klum, Elakimafuta. It's just like she was uh, seduced. She's not raped, but it's like she's seduced. In other words, there really is no marriage going on here. That's Rebelezer's view. Bas, which means that Bas Yisrael lekayin leitechel b'truma. If her family is a, are, are, if her family is a Yisrael, the husband's family is Kayanim, she's not really married to him. She's just living with him. She can't eat Juma. Bas Kayan Le Yisrael, let's say the opposite. Let's say her family is Kayanim, and he's a Yisrael. He's not really married to her. She's a young girl. Taichel B'Chuma. She's still eating Chuma from her father's house. It's not a real marriage. Anything that's withholding, that's coming from the man, then that's considered his wife. That's considered that he's the wife. If it's not coming from him, then it's not considered his wife. And for that, the Gemara is going to need to discuss what that means. Okay. I'm Rav Yehuda. Rav Yehuda says, And some say that it was taught in a brisa. Originally, what did the document of Mion look like? What did it say in it? It said like this. I don't, I don't desire him. I don't want him. And I don't wish to be married to him. Three expressions. Wow. It's probably a... Um, uh, uh, a copy of by the get it says get crisis igeris shvukin the um what does it say get get igeris shvukin there's three expressions there in the get um safer crisis in in the the targum on safer crisis uh, there's three targumen and each one gives a different Igeris uh, Shavukin, that's what it is. And it, in the get, it has those three expressions. What happened over here is they have these three expressions in the get Mion. So, given the Chazid, the Nafish Tibura, since they saw that this looked like, uh, you know, a lengthy um, contract. It almost sounds like you were from that Yeah. Uh, uh. So. Desire, no want. Amri, they said, there may be some scribe that doesn't know the halachas well, that's going to think that he can do this for an actual get. He's just going to write this in the actual get. So to Hachi, so they switched it so that no one should use the wrong document. You know, the deposit for the withdrawal statements, you know. <laughs> so to, uh, they said, on such and such a day, so and so, was Mian was rejected um, the husband in front of us? That's the whole document. Not, easy, not, easy. Not easy that's it. Yeah. They took all of that out. Tanurabban on it was taught in a brisa. We're on top of Kofches, one hundred eight. Ezel Mian. What is Mian? How does she do it? How does she do Mian? What does she? What does she do? We know how the court is going to write it up, but what is? What? How does it work? Amra, she says. EFC be plenty by me, by me. I can't handle my husband. That's it. Can you imagine? That's the whole thing. <laughs> She's out. Okay. EFC be kiddushin shekidshuni imi vaachi. I can't handle this this marriage that my mother and brother married me off. Yesterday I came to Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda says even more. Afili yeshevus pa apiriyin, even if she's sitting in some sort of carriage, vahelachas mi beis avia le beis baila. And she's actually on the way to the house. And she's crit uh, criticizing this whole event. She said, I can't handle him. She's like, right, she's uh, commenting about that. Even though if she really can't handle it, so get off the carriage. Right? 
But nevertheless, the fact that she made that statement means that she's out. Yes, sir. Okay, in Amr Abiyuda, Filo Yorchen Masub Ben Bebeis Bailov Yemedes Mashkaleim. She even has guests in the house, in her husband's house. She's standing there and serving them. And while she's serving them, she's commenting, "Yef she be plenty by. I can't handle my husband." Hari Humian, that's Mian. Yes, sir. Okay, Amr Abiyus Bar Abiyuda. Is it Amr Abiyus Bar Abiyuda? Amr Abiyuda. It's supposed to be. I feel Shigra Bailei Tzilchan Vani Lahavi Lechevitz Mishalai. Even if she, uh, the husband sent her to the store to bring something that belonged to him. Vamra, while she's doing this mission, she says, That's considered men. Now, if this was an adult and she had the same feelings, it's nothing. Because she's got the Yerusi, so she needs, needs a get. A get. So if she's up there before the wedding and she gets cold feet for good reason, all right. You she still require say, a get. Can I have a get here instead of condition? Yeah. That happens, you know. I mean, the people in the house forget they right. run the white bride. They just say. Uh, I, I forget if it was a shachar taz, but in in the in in the Shulchan Aruch, it says that if you have to that. Uh, when someone proposes, they have to wait seven days before the wedding. Tavuli Nasi, seven days from the proposal. Because maybe Dam Chimad, maybe she was excited and she saw blood. They, they can't be together for seven days. Right. So, so then, is that where the custom comes from? It could be. It could be. Anyway, there's a discussion over there. Let's say um, the Hassan gets cold feet by the wedding and the, and and then they convince him that they should uh the the, the parents convince him no 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 don't worry it's going to be fine just you know and so he decides again so is that considered that there's like a reap a new proposal because they, they thought the wedding was off and then they convinced him and then they go back so do they have to wait another seven days from that that's a, a question so the Taz, I think it was the Taz, he says, of course it's nothing. This happens every day. There's <laughs> <laughs> a comment like that. It's nothing. The, all the chasanim, they, they, always they get cold feet right before the wedding. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Rabbi Chinin ben Antigna Saimer, kol tinaikas chulu. Chinin ben Antigna says, that anyone that can't guard the Kedushin, it's nothing. Then the, the Kedushin is nothing. She doesn't even need me. In. That was Rabbi Chinina Ben Antignes. Am Rav Yudah Meshmol, Alachik Rabbi Chinina Ben Antignes. Rav Yudah says, name Meshmol, that's the Allah. That if she's that young, I don't know what age it is. It's got to be under, uh, under five. I assume six or seven, they can, they already have a wallet, they have things like there. It's going to be a, young, a very young child. Tana, I was starting to brysa. When they're going to school already, they clearly can they have a backpack. They have like where they keep the things. No? I think so. Tana, of Amda, Vinicius. Listen to this. She did not do mian. Shalom mian. However, someone comes over to her and says, "Would you marry me?" In the interim, while she's married, she's married to yeah. someone. Someone else comes over. Will you marry me? She says, "Sure." She takes the uh, kedushin, or nissus. It's more than kedushin. She gets fully married. She goes into his house. So, wow. obviously, she rejected her first husband by accepting the new husband. Yeah, that's a rejection. Let's say she does it again. No, let's say it wasn't a Nisuin, it was just a Kedushin. He gives her a ring. Not he not she went into the house. Tashima, the, the, the new guy. Katana Shlaimiana, she's married, Bamda Miniskacha. And she goes and she accepts Kedushin. It's the same thing. The fact that she accepted. Uh, uh, 
the, the marriage money is a mean. It means she rejected her first husband. Wait, what if the she found a better uh, husband? She does that for, uh, again. Wouldn't that show she has no toxic whatsoever of what's going on? According to Beis Hillel, it sounds like it's okay. Once. Sequential. But I'm saying, supposing she does it again, then it shows like she has no dots at all. And right. the, the second condition should not even have been. Maybe it shows that she does. Yeah, she's very sad. She's a yeah. She's, she's a professional, a professional uh, kedushin acceptor. <laughs> she's moving up the office. <laughs> Black with all the blue. The bailo, kligi rabbanan alad rabbi yehuda ben beseira elai. Come here, ask a question. We said this that this was acceptable according to rabbi yehuda ben beseira. Does that mean that the rabbis? Hold that it's not acceptable, that it's not a mean. Because you, you said it in the name of Rabbi Dubem it sounds like it's only in his name. Others, let's say everyone argues. So, do they argue? By if she gets Kedushin from the second person, or do they argue even if she accepts Nisuin from the second person? That that's also not considered a mian. Rabbi Ben Mesir says that is a mian. They would say it's not a mian even for Nesuin, possibly. And if they do argue with Nesuin, she didn't do mian yet before she accepted it, can't be considered a mian. Do we paskin like Rabbi Ben Mesir or not? And then if we do paskin like him, so Ben Nesuin, I feel a bit kedushin. How do we paskin like him? Is it, do we, are we paskining? In the case of Kedushin, which that would be an extreme view, or only by Nesuin we pass on like Rabbi Yehuda ben Besir. Tashma. I'm Rabbi Yehuda, I'm Shmuel, Halacha Rabbi Yehuda ben Besir, Halacha Mechlal de Pligi. Say the Halacha like Rabbi Yehuda ben Besir, that means obviously, if you say the Halacha like him, that means that the sages are arguing. Okay, that's our answer, that the sages are arguing. Um, when it says that the halach is like Rabbi Yudim and Maseira, we're talking about both by the Nesuin, because we have two statements, two brises that tell us we're talking about both of them. It means halach is like him, even by Kedushin. Okay, so we basically have the answer. However, we still have a question. Would this work if she was only betrothed? And that's why she can walk out of the marriage according to Beis Hillel. According to Beis Hillel, even if she's married, she can walk out. But, it, but according to Beis Hillel, why does the re- acceptance of a new Kedushin annul the first marriage? Because the first marriage was only a betrothal. But let's say the first marriage was stronger than that. Um, or, but let's say the first marriage was a full marriage. Would it still work that to just accept the, the um, a new kedushin that that annuls the first marriage. Tashma, so come and listen. The Kalsi the Avdan Imrit, the daughter-in-law of Avdan. Remember we had Avdan. He was a student of Rebbe. He was the one that commented to Rebbe Shmuel Bar He got saras. Oh, oh, his daughter's-in-law. The Gemara over there said that the daughter-in-laws uh, did mean. Remember that? That the Avdan, he got Saras, his, um, his two sons died. Oh, there was a whole list. And the two daughters-in-law just walked out. So the daughters-in-law of Avdan walked out. Shada Rebbe Zugi de Rabbanan Lemiv de Kinu. Rebbe sent uh, a pair of rabbis to check, did they really... Um, Reject the husbands. Amri lehu nashi. The women said to said to them, "Chazu de kaasi." Look, your husbands are are coming. I guess they saw two men coming. I don't know if Rabbi sent the husbands or they're just two men and they thought it was the husband. Amri lehu nevi gavraycha Said she, the 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 daughters-in-law said to the women that that said your husbands are coming. Said you can keep them. 
let them be your let them be your husband. Well, I'm a Rebbe and the and Gadol Mizeh. That's a real mian that annuls the first marriage. My love, Davi Nasiva. Probably we said that they're the daughters-in-law. Probably they were married fully before, and that was enough for rejection. Loi, the Havi Mikdash Kedusha. They were only betrothed before, so we don't have a proof from this. The halacha. I don't understand what the proof would have been either. What would the proof would have been? We're, we're talking about, we are, not that she says, I'm not interested in them. She says, I'm not interested in him. She says, she just accepts the Kedushan from someone else. That we said was the mean, and that we, that's the case we didn't have. So in other words, we're not bringing the, a case that, that matches the question. I guess what we're, we're, we're saying is that it's comparable. Because she doesn't say that, um, I guess the fact that she's, that they were offering their husbands to someone else is sort of like them accepting someone else as a husband. I think you can keep those husbands. Oh, was that their husbands or was it the two? Uh, I don't know. I don't know who it was. The women thought it, was it doesn't say, yeah. It could be that they, they just thought it was the husband. Yeah. We don't even like our guys. <laughs> no, they said your husbands are coming. The women the said. Women who, other women. Other women said, said to them, your husbands are coming. Husbands. It could be it wasn't. Whatever the case is, the fact that they said you can keep that, you can keep them, that means that they were rejecting the husband. Or that, that they is. have enough brains that if they're not interested in someone, they could say. Oh. Just from the fact that they were uh-huh. That you can walk out of a full marriage. That's what we were told. Yeah, the whole question would be based on. Right. Right. So adultery is a built in divorce. Adultery is a built in divorce. Right? There's no such thing as adultery, right? Oh. My acceptance of this new person nullifies the marriage. It's not adultery. It's that this wasn't considered yeah, because they're only the trust, right? Unless it was clear that it would be adultery. Right. I don't know if it's perfect like that. The husband would have to would have to make it clear that it was a marriage. That there, his relations with this new, with this girl was a marriage. If he said, if if it wasn't clear that it's a marriage, then maybe it would be considered adultery. But even if it was a marriage, the the katana, right? Yeah. So. I thought they always had the right to go out. Yeah. The question is, we're saying that when she accepts a nisuin from a new man, so that's a mian from the old one. So it's automatic uh, that there's no adultery. I'm, not, I'm saying that not necessarily is there no adultery. It could be that she is living with someone else, but it's not l'shem nisuin. It's not for marriage, and it's still, uh, and she's still married to the first husband. And she's a child, and, and uh, it doesn't mean it's me. I don't know. Okay. Uh, even if she was married first, she accepts Kedushin from the next one, and the Kedushin of the second one annuls the marriage of the first one. Yeah, even though that's weaker than... Very interesting. Rabbi Lezer says that she's not really married to this man because she's a child. She's just like Mefuta. She's just like someone that was seduced by this man. And therefore, she can't eat Shuma if he's a Kayan, and she can eat Shuma if her father's a Kayan. So the Gemara says, Amar Rabbi Yudah Mashmuel, Rabbi Yudah says the name of Shmuel, Chazani al kol Siddhei Chachamim. I went around on all the different Sides of the different sages, like Matsasi Adam Shishim Midas Pictanic Rebelezer, Shasser Rebelezer, Kimatayelas Hima Bachatzer, by Medis Michek of a Tivelis Vichels Pichumalera. There's no one that's consistent as in his opinion of how a marriage to a child works as Rabbi Eliezer. Why? Rebelezer says there's no marriage. How does it work? They're, they're, they're walking around in the, in the, they're strolling in the courtyard. She stands up from his chest, means they had relations. 
she goes to the mikveh and she can eat shuma at night because her family are kayanim and she's not really married to him. Tanya, Sada Nebraisa. Rabbi Lezer, I mean, my sakitana klum. What the act of a child is nothing. In other words, the kedushin or whatever. The husband does not acquire her income, not her, uh, the work, the income from work and not the things that she finds. He can't annul her vows. He doesn't inherit her. He doesn't even, if he's a Kayan, he can't even become impure to take care of her burial. Someone else will have to do that. As long as she's not a Miss Smith, right? uh, Klolis, can still he can still live with her. This is like saying pedophilia is okay. Yeah. Klolis shall davar. What's the rule? In the case the shall davar el shetrichamim. She's not not considered a wife. She just needs to to have to reject the marriage and. And the marriage gets annulled. Terrifying. Yeah. He may be uh, 13, you know. <laughs> I don't know if that's called. That's not called. Uh, that's uh, both uh, they're both minors. Yeah, it's fine. Rabbi Shu Aimer, Baila Zakai Bimitsiasa, Maisia Deba, first in the Rebbe, Yersha, Umetamala. Rabbi Shu's view is exactly the opposite. Um, his view is that no, it is, she is the wife. He acquires all of her income, her work and her the things that she finds. He can annul her vows. He inherits her, and he becomes tummy if she uh, if she passes away. He goes to he takes care of the funeral. It's like the wife. The only thing is, with the one exception, that she can walk out and annul the marriage. So according to Rabbi Eliezer. It's not the wife, with the one exception, that she needs to annul the marriage. And Rabbi Shul says it is the wife, with the one exception, that she can annul the marriage. I'm a Rebbe, near and Rebbe Lezer, and Rebbe Shul. Rebbe says that Rabbi Eliezer seems more correct than Rabbi Shul. Rabbi Lezer, Rabbi Daisa, Viktana, Rabbi Shul, Cholak. Rabbi Eliezer is consistent, and Rabbi Shul is divided. My Cholak, what does it mean divided? Goes like this: If it's his wife, Tibai get. Then why doesn't she need a divorce? If it's really the wife, according to Rabbi Shua, there's an inconsistency there. The Gemara says, "La Rablazim Nami Lavishti Mi and Nami Lai Tibai." If um, if uh, she's not married, then why does she even need Miyun? The Gemara says, "Ela Bechdi Tepuk," so she just leaves without even Miyun. Of course, there needs to be some sort of rejection. So the Gemara doesn't have a problem with Rabbi Lezer, but it has a problem with Rabbi Yeshua that there's an inconsistency. Rabbi Lezer ben Yaakov Chulu. Rabbi Lezer ben Yaakov, he had the statement about kola kava, any withholding, which is from the man, that makes it a wife. He said that any withholding that comes from the man means that she's married. And any withholding that comes from the woman means that they're not married. What does it mean withholding from the man and withholding not from the man? I'm Rabbi Yudah Meshmol. Rabbi Yudah says in the name of Shmol, it means like this. Tavu Alinase. She's married to someone, right? And someone comes over to her and says, will you marry me? He proposes. No, she's already married. So her comment is, Va'amra, I can't marry you. I already have a husband. Whoa. So, that means that she's totally married. That means it's his wife. If she says, I don't want to marry you because um, I don't like you. Not suitable. Yeah. Not suitable. Not then she didn't say the main, the main reason that she's married. What is the difference if he, she's, if this guy is uh, suitable or not? Zuya Kavashenu Menesh. Rabbi Lezer Ben Yaakov would say that that's not considered a marriage to her first husband. She doesn't even realize that she's married, that that should stop her. Abaya Barofen, Varavchinena Barofen. 
Dami Tavayo, Nasan La Get, they have a different shot. If he gave her a get, Zuya Kavashimina Ish, Bu Asa Bekrevi Sea, Bu Asa Bekreva, Bu Pasla Menakuna. He gives her a get, then that's considered that the marriage was really there. Yeah. Now, what that what is the difference? Now they're divorced. Well, the difference is that now she cannot marry his relatives because she was married to him. And he cannot marry her relatives because he was married to her. And she's divorced. She can't marry a Kayan. She's a divorcee. Me and a boy. Let's say it wasn't him divorcing her. She walked out of the marriage. Zuya Kavashena Manish. This is a, a uh, withholding that's not from the man. Right. She's allowed to marry his relatives. He's allowed to marry her relatives because the whole marriage was annulled. And she can still marry a Kayan. It was taught further on. The Mishnah says exactly this. Why does Rabbi Lezben Yaakov need to say this? It's going to be coming up in the Mishnah right now. Where says Prushika Mefarish? The Mishnah that's about to say this is just explaining what Rabbi Lezben Yaakov was saying. That if there was a get, then it was considered a marriage, and then it's forbidden. But if there was an annulment, then there was no marriage, and then they're not forbidden to each other's relatives. Wow. Let's start the next Mishnah. Amen is Ish. A woman that rejects the husband, uh, uh, not a woman, a young girl. She rejects the husband. Well, the marriage is annulled. And whom to be He can marry her relatives because they were never married. Okay. Sister, mother. She can marry his relatives. She can uh, marry uh, his father. Or his brother. And she can also marry a Kayan. Nasan la get, but if he gave her a get, that's how the marriage ended. So who also bekrevi sev, yasura bekreva pasam and akuna, then everyone's forbidden and she's considered divorced. She can't marry a kain. Nasan la get wow. He gave her he gave her a get. And then he remarries her. Me and a bite. She then walks out on the marriage. Wow. She marries someone else. The new fellow passed away or divorced her. She's, she's really finished her third marriage. Okay. She's not even seven years old yet. Muteris <laughs> She's allowed to go back to the first husband. Now, usually a divorced woman is not allowed to go back to after she marries someone else can't go back. And she is a divorced woman because he divorced her the first marriage. But because there was a me and afterwards, that annuls even the divorce. It annuls everything. It annuls the marriage and it annuls the divorce that was before that. Me and Abai Bechzira. First, she walked out on the marriage. He marries her again. Nasan Laget gives her a divorce for the second marriage. It's getting serious here. And then she marries a third time, someone else. So now she can't go back because now the marriage ended in a divorce and then she marries someone else. And now she can't go back to her first husband. Here's the rule. If the get was the last thing that took place, then she can't return to the first husband because it ended in a divorce. If it ended in an annulment after a divorce, then Mutaris Lachsley, she can go back to the first husband. Okay. Now we have an interesting case. She annulled her first marriage. She gets married to someone else. Vigirsha, and he divorced her. Laacher, she gets married to someone else. Umiya and Abai. And he and Umiya and Abai, and she walks out on that other one. Laacher, then she gets married to someone else. Vigirsha, and gets divorced. The halacha would be like this. The rule is, if it ended in a get, then he can't go back. But if it ended in me, then it can, she can go back. That's simple. Okay. Yeah. It sounds simple. 
there's a problem with this. The problem is, is that if it, the if the mian took place afterwards, then that marriage isn't really a marriage anyway. So why can she not go back to the husband that ended with the divorce? She wasn't married after that either. Because that this marriage after that was an annulment. Okay, let's leave the Gemara over here. We'll leave it here. Continue on Mitzvah Shem, 720. Hey, there's a brisk this morning. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful okay. day.